Hi guys, welcome to today's video. You know what I used to like to do with my mechanical pencils? I would go like this and I would sharpen them super, super sharp. Just keep doing that, doing that, doing that. I would sharpen the pencil lead until it was like a needle point. And then I would write the whole alphabet as small as I possibly could. And I would see how small, like like how, how small I could fit the whole alphabet in. And I could usually do it maybe like, you know, in a centimeter or something like that. Random trivia. So uh, in today's video, I might have set myself up for failure. I, I had my wife and kids write a bunch of random words or phrases on little bits of paper. And I, ha I haven't looked at them. I don't know what they say. And so I'm going to put all these pieces of paper into my hat and I'm going to draw one out. And then I have to make a flip book based on whatever that piece of paper says. The challenge is that I only have five minutes to do it. So this is five minute flip books. This video is sponsored by Wix. I built my new website on Wix and I'll tell you about it at the end of the video. I'll put all these papers in my hat and we'll get started. Wish me luck because this could be a total disaster. Off comes the hat. Don't look at my hair. It's horrible. I told you not to look at my hair. It's horrible. Random paper number one. Old milk. This looks like one from my son Asher. Here we go. Five minute flip book. He drew like a starter drawing for me. Okay, we're gonna draw, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, this is, a, I'm already, I'm already burned 30 seconds. This is not good. All right, hurry Andy. Oh look, there's some milk inside. I'm already regretting writing the word milk on here because it's gonna take time away. I only have three and a half minutes left. This is gonna be horrible. Um, by the way, I just started a Patreon page. Um, if you guys would like to go check it out, support the channel that way, that would be cool. I'll put the link in the, what am I doing? I'll put the link in the video. I, I shouldn't be talking and trying to do this at the same time. I post, see, look at this. I can't, I can't draw and talk at the same time. I post um, vlogs there. All right, all right, all right, pick up the, okay. This doesn't look, this just looks like regular milk. It needs to be old stinky milk. All right, we're gonna like make it start kind of smelling. My, this milk bottle is the worst, but I'm already committed, so five minutes. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so this is like this, the nasty smell coming out. We'll make it maybe like start bubbling or something. Oh, come on, I can't. All right, well, let's take a look at what I was able to get done in five minutes. That's my first five minute flipbook. Ta-da! What I'm gonna do, I really wanna finish this one, so I'm gonna finish it. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next one and see if I can do any better. You know what? I really want to eliminate this milk word. So I'm going to like say that the, the letters are starting to like burn off the bottle because it's getting so curdly and old and smelly that the letters just can't even bear it and they are just disintegrating. This is like mutagen inside here. I think if you drank this, you might turn into a, a ninja turtle or something. You know what? I remember um, at my grandma's house, her getting milk delivered on her front porch in glass bottles, but I didn't particularly like the way it tasted as a kid. I don't know. It was like it was like I could taste the cow or something. And I remember drinking some and told my parents, this tastes like cow's milk. And they kind of laughed at me. And they said, well, it is. It comes from a cow. That's what happens when you let your milk spoil too much. It comes to life. Let's 
let's, uh, I'm not gonna do, let's, let's dump them all into my hat again. Ready? Tomato horse. Ready? Good set. We're gonna keep the horse really simple. It's a stick horse. There's our horse. Isn't it pretty? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the tomato, a giant tomato falling out of the sky, and it's gonna splat on the horse. It's like this, this horse is on like wheels or something. It's actually better than last time. Yeah, that's a tomato. Believe it or not, that's a tomato. This is impossible. Three, two, one, it's a lot of times. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> five minutes. Well, here's what five minutes gets you for tomato horse. Flat. That one could be funny. Time to take off my hat once again. You ready? Ugly man. This one's good because um, I can draw really ugly. Here we go, five minutes, start. Let's see what we can do with them. I always love to do like big honking teeth. When I was in like kindergarten or first grade, I am wasting all my time here. One of my friends told me that I had buck teeth. Man, that made me so self-conscious. Kids, let's make his eyes like rolling around. Let's do that. Five minutes is killing me. These weird ears. But I kind of like the look of this dude. Time's up. Yeah, should we keep going? Even though this feels kind of like a, an epic failure so far. <laughs> I think I may have to up my time limit. Let's see what 10 minutes can be. Saggy. Let's draw one more word out and see if I can combine those two, okay? Saggy, a saggy sucker. I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes. Five minutes is just not cutting it. Wow, 10, ten minutes never felt so luxurious. Okay, frame one only took me 10 minutes. We're gonna go 20 minutes. 10 minutes again. I think I think this one has potential, so that's why I want to spend a little more time on it. The trickiest part of this, I feel like, is just coming up with like your first page. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Hmm, I'll probably be saying the same thing in another ten minutes. What I'm thinking is I want to have him like just as he's gonna bite down the sucker, just whoa. I'm just gonna finish this one. All right, dudes and dudettes, it is time to ink. Yeah, uh, this one, I, I kind of got into that. That was really fun, even though it turned into like 10 times longer. I guess I failed the challenge, um, but I finished. Maybe that's the point. The five minutes was kind of good because it just kind of gave me a jump start and forced me to just start doing something and it was fun. And so I ended up with something that I liked. So even if it seems like you're failing and coming in dead last place, just sometimes just finishing it and keeping going anyway, it's the victory. There's your philosophy for the day. Thanks you guys. 
Thanks to Wix for sponsoring today's video. I built my new website on Wix. It's animation.shop and I built a section there where I can showcase the flipbooks and animation that you guys have been sending me. I've been adding tons of them to the site. They're so cool to see. So uh, go over there and check out everyone's animation. Wix has made it really simple for me actually to add your videos to the site and I love the way their video library works. I just paste all the links and then specify what channel I want to assign each video to. And that's what's cool is I can set up multiple channels on the site if I want to. So I could I could have one section that only shows stop motion. I could have another section that only shows flipbooks. Uh, it's really powerful. Whether you're a novice or business owner or a professional designer, Wix has a solution for every need. You can build your portfolio, build your business, and set up your store. So go get your own website at wix.com slash go slash animation or click the link in the description below and get started today. I'll see you in the next video.